right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your brothers that are laboring and pushing this word in truth to sincerity and with charity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in GMS Chicago, coming to do another quick lesson. And through the Holy Spirit, Lord willing, that be edifying. And uh, just want to do um, a video that was inspired by um, a video that a uh, brother had shared in our group chat. Um, pretty much going into many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, um, which uh, is a heavy, heavy deal because um, this isn't something that everybody um, receives okay very very few people um, will understand this receive this uh, believe this which makes this a very uh, special special thing Okay, um, so I googled the world population, 7.753 billion, this was in, from 2020, we're in 2022, about, uh, almost headed to 2023, okay, um, so obviously there would be more people than this, and then this is just, uh, you know, the people that are recorded, you know, there's probably even more than that. Okay, so just by that alone, the fact that you are an Israelite is a heavy thing. And then also a chosen out of the chosen, right? Because not all Israel is of Israel at the moment. So let's let me bring this out here real quick. Numbers twenty three and ten. Who can count the dust of Jacob and number and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my last end be like his. Okay, the fourth part of Israel is 25%. So even 25% um, of Israel is a huge, huge number. Which here is describing who can even count that. Alright, uh, the scriptures talk about in Hosea. Let's go ahead and grab it. Hosea 1 and 10, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass in the place where it will say unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. So the number of the children of Israel shall be what? As the sand of the sea. Who can count the sands of the sea? Who? Alright, and also compared to the stars. That are in the heavens. Who can count the stars that are in the heavens? Alright. So just the fact that you receive this knowledge, truth, and understanding, and this wisdom, the Holy Spirit, makes you somebody very, very special. Alright. Uh, let's get uh, Revelations 14 and 4. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. So this is not speaking about, all right, um, having sex. All right, this is speaking about uh, doctrine and philosophy. All right, these are they which were not defiled with... Um, you know, false doctrine. 
okay now when you go to that word first fruits <clears throat> the word first fruits it says uh person superior in excellence to, to others of the same class so all right uh we're all israelites right um so those that are israelites are of the same class but the elect are what person superior in excellence to to them okay because the elect is going to be the governing body in the kingdom of heaven. All right. So this is a heavy, heavy deal. It's a um, praise the Lord for all he has done for you receiving this knowledge, truth, and understanding. All right. Uh, practice thankfulness for that. Every single day you give thanks to the Heavenly Father. Alright, we could have easily been a nigga in the world. We could have easily been a heathen in the world. Okay? But the fact that you received this is a heavy deal. Matthew 22 and 14, for many are called, but few chosen. Alright? And, you know, many have been called. We have seen people come and go. And people will continue to come and go. Um, but the fact that you're still here says a lot. You know, and we're almost out of here. We're almost out of here. Considering the prophecies that are coming to pass. You know, we're at the doors of everything. There ain't too much left that has to happen yet. Uh, there isn't much that has to happen left when you look at pro uh, prophecy. Okay. This is Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Many there be which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So there's going to be many people that leadeth that go into the way of destruction. All right, and there's going to be few people that find the way that leadeth to life. Okay, so what we're uh, on the path that leads to life. While the whole uh, course of this world, the people are following, leads to destruction, leads to death. All right, but we're going the other way. All right, we're going the opposite way of the world. Right? But straight, it means a position of difficulty. So, uh, in Ezra, it describes it as fire on one side and deep water on the other. Right? A narrow way where only one man could enter in at a time. Alright? That's heavy. That's through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. Alright? The righteous shall scarcely be saved. Barely, that's barely being saved. Okay. Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Right? Your calling to uh, come into this truth that leads to everlasting life, right? When you look at it, not the uh, famous, powerful, and rich people of this world or have been called into this thing, but the little guy, the lowly, the poor of this world have been called, right? The poor of this world is despised, all right? The mighty, all right, the wise and the noble of this world are praised, all right, um, looked at as, as a high, as highest, highly esteemed among men, 
all right, your famous rich people, all right, the so-called scholars and all that, right? They were not chosen. You were chosen. It says, but God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of this world to confound the things which are mighty, right? So, us being the poor of this world, considered the um, foolish of this world, right? We've been chosen to confound the wise of this world. And the base things of this world, the things which are despised, have God chosen yeah, the things which are not to bring to not things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Right? Because this is what shows the might and the power of the Heavenly Father. Right? Showing you that this ain't uh, nothing to uh, glory of in the flesh. Right? But this is of the Holy Spirit. Which he gave you. Matthews 11 and 25, at that time Yahushua answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and revealed them unto babes. And we're the babes, we're the foolish, the despised, the poor of this world, all right? <clears throat> and the wise and the prudent are considered uh, your so-called scholars so-called um, people that went to study the Bible in school right but they they don't know the mysteries of this book they don't know the prophecies of this book some things they they might have a point but they don't have 100% true we have 100% true okay <clears throat> this is James 2 and 5 hearken my my beloved brethren had not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him. Alright, so the Most High again chose the poor of this world to be what? Rich in faith. Not all men have faith. And he has chosen us to be heirs of the kingdom. Which he hath promised to them that love him. Okay. This is Matthew 5 and 1. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Right? And you see how, you know, it's all the lowly, the poor, and the despised that are in this world. You know? Bringing in here everything. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. This is First Thessalonians 2 and 12. That ye, walk, that ye would walk worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. Alright, so what we have to uh, take this thing serious. Count yourself blessed. Give thanks to the Heavenly Father. Do the best you can. Give it your all. You know, why wouldn't we give it our all when the Most High, um, considering everything the Most High has done for us, how would you not give it your all? Alright, we've been called to glory and to His kingdom. So let's walk worthy and let's uh, do the best that we possibly can. Alright, we're not going to be perfect in this flesh. Alright, we're going to fall, but you got to get back up. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and the third little This video was edifying as always. I honor and glory and praise this goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Mokakudash, the honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Until next time, Shalom.